pondered for quite a while and had a, a complete relook at the match before we decided finally who it was. If it was half time and you stopped the match, you'd say it was going to be a Kildare man. Uh, at that stage, Len Ryan and Niall Buckley were the two best players probably on the pitch. And only on the Galway side in the first half, Tomás Mannion and Michael Donlan uh, were really the two men who were putting it up to them. But then, you know, the second half changed around so much. It was quite a dramatic turnaround. And then you had all the heroes on the Galway side, Martin McNamara, Sean De Poyer, Kevin Walsh, uh, practically everybody. But in the final analysis, it came down to a decision between Tomás Mannion, who had an absolutely fantastic match at cornerback, Ja Fallon, who just came to life and did things that everybody dreams about doing in Crow Park and All Ireland Day. But the Man of the Match award uh, for me this year was from a man who's third generation of All Ireland medal winners, I suppose, maybe the Saddler Wells of Gaelic football in that line, from the 30s, from his grandfather to the 60s, and now to the 90s. Man of the Match for 1998 All Ireland final, Michael Donnelly. Michael O'Donnell, ladies and gentlemen. Michael, will you come out and join us, please? Yeah, that's a very popular decision. Well, it's absolutely packed to capacity here, just trying to create a little passageway so that Michael can come down here and receive this uh, beautiful Waterford Crystal Trophy and the uh, lovely pair of watches as well. There's also going to be a contribution from the Bank of Ireland of £25,000 towards the holiday fund for the players. A great day finishing for a great player. Michael, if you can come and join us. Congratulations to you. As we always say, don't let it fall. Now, we've got two lovely watches here as well. And is Sean McNamara here from the Bank of Ireland? If he is, he's got a cheque out over £25,000. There you go, John. This is towards the holiday fund. OK, thank you, John. Now, Michael, let's have a little word with you. What a wonderful day. Are you aware that you participated in an absolutely terrific game of football? I don't know, just when we... Um Tied out today, we just, sorry, said relax, focus on the game and uh, just play it. It's just a normal game, really. Just take it as another day, and that's what we did, and just worked out well for us in the end. As Colin was mentioning in the introduction there, third generation of Donnellans to take all Ireland medals. That's tremendous. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Like, uh, so there's lots of people in the family to give you lots of advice, in other words. There is alright, yeah, but uh, you know, it is a great feeling and I saw Dad there up when we were getting the cup and he was crying and everything and it was just brilliant, like, and brought back memories for him and my Uncle Pat as well, it brought back memories as well, so it is brilliant, like, great occasion. This is a very young team, realistically. Are you confident, I know you're going to enjoy tonight and enjoy next week as well, but are you confident there's another All-Ireland medal in the next few years in this team? I don't know, we just take one day at a time, like, I suppose it's hard. And, 83, we wouldn't be back again for, you know, it's hard to be back in a final in the next one or two years, but it didn't happen to 98, like, and... Uh, there have be, been a lot of disappointments, really, in hurling and football since the mid-60s, but today you put it all right, you made an awful lot of goal with people terribly happy. Yeah, well... <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's great for the team and it's great for the management, but uh, I suppose at the end of the day, it's all the support that we had during the year. It's fantastic, and I think they showed out to show there today that you know they turned out in their thousands, and it was excellent. It was brilliant coming onto the pitch, and the roar we got it just lifted the hair at the back of our necks, and it, it was just unreal. Like, well, Michael, you take the trophy. The watches are yours. The checks for the team, ladies and gentlemen, the RTE Man of the Match for the football final, Michael Donovan. Congratulations then once again to Michael. I remember being in the Dundon house one afternoon. Michael and his brother John, as two small boys, were knocking glasses and trophies off the sideboard in the sitting room with the football. But I never thought that we'd be giving you a Man of the Match award in an All-Ireland final someday. All right then, that's uh, where we wrap.